The state ministers were surprised to see so many development projects in the province, especially in the education sector. The ministers visited Enga International School, Enga Teachers College, the proposed new Enga Hospital and Enga School of Nursing. Their visit is to see the key infrastructure projects in the province and what the national government can do to continue to support the provincial development agenda. I, I just I walk here and I see the infrastructure development that's taking place and I feel that I need to make my part as treasurer. Anger Governor Sir Peter Ipatas told the ministerial delegation that he has received minimal support from the national government in the past years to build education institutions in the province. National institutions such as Enga College of Nursing and the Teachers College were built on partnership between the provincial government and donor partners such as the Australian government. With the change in government this year, Governor Ipatas is extending an invitation to ministers to visit his province and support his vision of turning Enga into an education and health hub for the country. So we are serious. When we say we want to be a hub, we are serious. You know, maybe a lot of money, we maybe yet, but we more. But we need the attention of the national government and to take ownership. State Enterprise Minister Sassindran Muthuvel said the national government will support the provincial government's agenda in education and health. I'm, I'm very impressed the way enormous works happening in the province. Governor doesn't have to prove anything. He has already proved what, they, what wonders the education can do for Enga province and people of Enga. Minister Ling Staki had the honor of opening a 5 million kina clinic library and practical lab at Enga College of Nursing. Officially opened. Vasanath Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.